magician is preparing for a stunt that might even scare Stephen King. His goal is to survive being buried alive on Halloween. Here's Channel 13, Steve Krupe. Magician Dixie Dooley is digging his own grave. He hopes it won't be permanent. On Halloween morning, Dixie will be handcuffed, chained, and then nailed inside a wooden packing crate. It's going to be lifted by a crane and lowered into this hole here, six foot deep and buried with heavy dirt. And you either get out or you die. And there goes the ambulance now. <laughs> now, it looks pretty dangerous. It does to me, too. I, but he assures me that he can handle it. And we've got waivers signed, and hopefully everything will go well. <laughs> People who have tried this before have died. It's a very dangerous stunt. It really is. And don't anybody at home try this. We're trying it on Halloween Day 2, which has been notoriously a bad day for magicians. It's the day Houdini died, and it's National Magic Day, of course. Last Halloween in Fresno, California, a magician died while attempting this same trick. He was crushed by cement poured on top of his coffin. If I can't get out in three minutes, then they're going to immediately uh, dig up the crate and try to revive me any way they can. Las Vegas is no stranger to unusual entertainment, but this is the first time we know of that anyone has attempted to bury themselves alive on the Strip. And we'll be here on Halloween to see if he makes it out of here alive. Steve Krupe, Channel 13 News. The ultimate strip gamble. Nate, I heard you were interested in doing that. Oh, no, 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 no. Steve Krupe gets all the good stories. That's all I know. That's a good one. No, I'm not interested in anything it'll like be a, that. It'll be a good story on Halloween. <laughs> yes. And I'm just going trick-or-treating on Halloween night. You know, this You're is so sort of boring, boring Ron. At, at this point. But Dress warmly, Ron. I, <laughs> yeah, I will. Thank well, thanks for joining us. Uh, we will see you tomorrow night. Hope you have a nice evening. Good night. Oh, this might get, give you a good idea. He will be chained, handcuffed, nailed inside a wooden crate, and then buried six feet under a ton of dirt. Magician Dixie Dooley is preparing for a stunt so dangerous not even Harry Houdini would try it. Dixie will perform the stunt outside the Boardwalk Hotel tomorrow morning. Last Halloween, another magician was killed trying a similar stunt. He was crushed by cement poured on top of his coffin. That's kind of scary. Yeah. Sure. A magician in Las Vegas made the great escape from his Halloween trick alive and well. Mm -hmm. About a hundred people gathered outside the Boardwalk Hotel and Casino to see oh, Dixie Dooley buried alive. The San Jose News Channel. Now, the most comprehensive news coverage for the Santa Clara Valley. KNTV News at 6. Finally, for now, earlier this week, we told you about magician Dixie Dooley, who was going to perform a stunt so dangerous, not even the great Harry Houdini would try it. He was going to bury himself in a chained coffin six feet under the earth and escape in three minutes. It started off okay today. Dooley was buried. Three minutes passed, but there was no sign of him. Rescue crews quickly unearthed the coffin, only to discover he was gone. But minutes later, Dooley popped up behind the crowd, unharmed. Stockton, Sacramento, Modesto. And now, with today's top story... Patrick Emery and Jennifer Whitney, Tom Laughman's weather, and David James with sports. Coverage you count on. This is KOVR 13 News at 5. A crowd of spectators in Las Vegas didn't know whether to expect a trick or a treat today when a magician dared to pull a stunt even Houdini wouldn't try. Dixie Tooley was buried six feet underground, had a ton of dirt put on top of him, and told the crowd he'd be out in three minutes. One in Southern California, Channel 7, KABC TV, Los Angeles. Now, Paul Moyer, Ann Martin, Johnny Mountain Weather, and Jim Hill Sports. When news happens, you see it happen on Eyewitness News at 5. It is a night for ghosts and goblins and things scary, but one crowd in Las Vegas not only got scared, but they were tricked into believing that a man was actually buried alive. Here's what happened. Spectators in Las Vegas were told today that magician Dixie Dooley would be buried in this box and escape in three minutes. With six feet of dirt shoveled on top, some folks got really nervous and wondered if Dixie would pull it off. The crowd waited patiently, but as the precious minutes continued to slip away, they got downright scared. When the time was up, helpers removed the dirt, but the magician nowhere in sight. Box with your hands bound by 200 pounds of handcuffs. The box is being nailed shut. Just think of that sound. And then dropping you down, burying you six feet underground. You are inside. 
Now, imagine trying to get out in just three minutes. Houdini did it once, others died trying to do it in the past. But today, that's exactly what one local trickster did. Magician Dixie Dooley tried to tackle the death-defying act, and it was just before noon today that he did that. It was in front of the Boardwalk Hotel. Instead of digging himself out, though, Dooley surprised the crowd there when he magically escaped both the cuffs and the box and appeared behind them. Today was Dooley's first shot at being buried alive, and one he says that he couldn't have done without keeping his cool. Dooley says he performed the stunt as a tribute to Halloween. So how'd he do it? <laughs> we don't know, and That's he's not saying. <laughs> That's not bad. All right. Well, we hope you have a safe Halloween tonight. We do have an editorial report. Magic fans a treat at the Boardwalk Hotel this morning. About 100 people were out to watch local magician Dixie Dooley attempt to escape from a grave six feet underground. Dooley was handcuffed and locked into a crate, which was then wrapped with heavy chains. Dooley said he decided to perform the stunt on Halloween Day to attempt to break a long-standing magician's Halloween jinx. It's a very serious stunt because it's on Halloween. Halloween is a very notorious day for accidents happening to magicians. It's the day Houdini died, and uh, they're going to put me six feet under the ground in a box that's been roped and chained with five pair of handcuffs and a 25-pound ball and chain wrapped around my ankle, and I simply have to get out or die. One of Dooley's heroes was Harry Houdini, who nearly was nearly buried alive in a similar stunt. By the way, it took Dooley about 10 minutes to successfully extricate himself from all the shackles and the coffin and escape. Hmm. There goes his shot at the history book, though, huh? <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> yes, that's our report. We attempted the very dangerous buried alive escape earlier this Halloween. In tonight's 6 o'clock extra, Channel 13 Sandy Bell says the stunt caused some very anxious moments. The buried alive escape was one of the most dangerous escape stunts ever attempted. Houdini tried it only once, and last year, a California magician was killed in his attempt. So when magician Dixie Dooley had himself shackled with several pairs of handcuffs and was sealed into a plywood box, there were many nail biters among the spectators. Before the attempt, we asked Dixie why he was doing such a dangerous escape. We're trying to give the public something extra the way Houdini did in his day, you know? Houdini was at the peak of his career making lots of money performing in the theaters, but he'd still go out and he'd jump in rivers and he'd hang upside down in straight jackets. And he went that extra mile, and that's what I try to do with my show. Going that extra mile has sent others to a real burial plot. A crane lowered Dixie's box into the ground, and his crew helped shovel dirt over it. With the box completely covered with dirt, Dixie figures he's got about three minutes of air left to be able to get out of the chains and crawl his way to the top. As the time got closer to three minutes and then passed it, the crowd became more anxious. Then Dixie's crew jumped in to shovel off the dirt. Some spectators joined them by digging with their hands. But when they smashed open the box, Dixie Dooley wasn't there. He was standing on the crane, waving to the crowd. Put your hands together, please! I don't know how he got out. I still do not understand. Because I did not see him get out. I mean, no side doors, no traps. Happy Halloween. We had a great time, still out of breath from it, but it was, it was super. Dixie says he plans an even better escape next Halloween. Always. Sandy Bell, Channel 13 News. Glad it worked know? out. No. I don't either. That's our report tonight. Thanks a lot for joining us. Be safe out there. See you tonight at 11.